hello everyone in the previous video we have seen the steps the different steps of fertilization like acrosomal reaction cortical reaction and in this video we will discuss the last step of fertilization that is amphimixis or karyogamy amphimixis or karyogamy karyon means nucleus and gamos means or gamy means fusion so in this process the fusion of male pronucleus and female pronucleus takes place what is male pronucleus the nucleus of sperm is known as male pronucleus and the nucleus of ovum and the nucleus of ovum is known as female pronucleus so in amphimixis process the fusion of two gametic nuclei takes place that means male gamete and female gamete or the nucleus of male gamete and female gamete after the entry of sperm after the entry of sperm into the ovum the sperm rotates at an angle 180 degree the sperm rotates at an angle 180 degree as a result this centriole this centriole this structure this structure centriole remains in between the two gametic nuclei or the centriole remains in between male pronucleus and female pronucleus then the centriole starts dividing the centriole starts dividing and migrates to two opposite poles one centriole comes to this pole and another to this pole and these two centriole starts forming spindle fibers they starts to form spindle fibers that helps in cell division process then the male pronucleus this male pronucleus comes to the center this point this male pronucleus comes to the center by covering a path that is known as penetration path that is known as penetration path but the nucleus of the female or the female pronucleus is at this side so this sperm changes its direction or path to reach the female pronucleus and the path through which the male pronucleus reaches near the female pronucleus is known as copulation path so there are two paths covered by the male pronucleus one is penetration path uh, penetration path and another is copulation path first male pronucleus comes to the center by covering penetration path and then move towards the female pronucleus by covering copulation path then the nuclei mem the, then the nuclear membrane these two nuclear membrane the nuclear nuclear membrane of male pronucleus and nuclear membrane of female pronucleus both disappear the nuclear membrane of male and female pronuclei disappear and the nucleus of both sorry the nucleus of the chromosome of both the nucleus fuse together or combines to form a diploid zygote the haploid male pronucleus and haploid female pronucleus fuse together to form a diploid structure that is known as zygote and this fusion of two gametic nuclei is known as amphimixis now amphimixis is complete then the next part is the significance or importance of fertilization so what are the importance of fertilization the first step is or the first point is due to fertilization the diploidy of the cell is maintained as the cell is diploid in nature but the gametes are haploid so during the process of fertilization the two haploid gametes that is male gamete and female gamete that is sperm and ovum fuse together to form diploid structure as a result the diploid number of chromosome is maintained in offspring 
and the next point is it initiates cleavage or during the process of fertilization the proximal centriole enters into the ovum or secondary oocyte this proximal centriole initiates cleavage by forming spindle fibers these are the spindle fibers formed by the centriole that is introduced at the time of fertilization and the next step is it stimulates the completion of second maturation division of oogenesis as you know that the secondary oocyte remains arrested at metaphase 2 of the meiosis 2 so when the sperm enters into the secondary oocyte the metaphase promoting factor breaks or becomes inactivated and the anaphase promoting anaphase promoting complex is activated as a result meiosis 2 is completed or the second maturation division of the oogenesis is completed and the ovum and second polar bodies are formed the next step is it determines the sex of the embryo so what will be the sex of the embryo or sex of the offspring it is determined at the time of fertilization so how suppose a sperm containing x chromosome fuses with a ovum containing x chromosome the individual will be the individual will be or the offspring will be female or when the ovum containing x chromosome fuses with a sperm containing y chromosome the offspring will be or the offspring will develop into a male individual so what will be the sex of the embryo or the sex of the offspring that is determined at the time of fertilization the last one is it causes variation in offspring as you know that during fertilization the maternal chromosome that is present in the ovum or female pronucleus and the paternal chromosome that is present in the male pronucleus fuses so due to the fusion of maternal and paternal chromosome variation in offspring takes place so these are all the importance of fertilization and another point is it prevents polysperm it prevents polysperm by forming fertilization membrane during fertilization process fertilization membrane is formed that prevents entry of more than one number of sperm into the ovum this is known as polysperm so fertilization membrane prevents polysperm that is formed during the process of fertilization so this is all about the different steps of fertilization and in the next video we will discuss about the cleavage process and implantation and other